Hi, my name is Amanda Hoster, and I'm a junior at Omaha North. My body is a temple a sacred place that has only been admired for its architecture and never for the hymns and prayers that ring from it. How am I supposed to worship something so hollow? To love something that is already dead, I am composed of marble columns and painted ceilings, yet they rest in abandonment. Praying to gods that cease to give them salvation, searching for a love that will not gaze at the walls around them, but rather bask in the scriptures I create. I have been mistaken before. Strangers with familiar faces have overstayed their welcome. They've drowned out my hymns with deafening silence, shattered the marble, and covered the paintings. My identity has been stripped from me, deteriorating with every touch I've been told that I should be ashamed of this temple, of this structure that consumes my being. It is simply for others to visit, to reconcile with their demons and fix themselves as they destroy their surroundings. I am crumbling from the inside out, collapsing in on myself, yet they never cease to take a piece of me before they leave. I crave to cover myself in vines, let them climb up the walls and sprout thorns, but all it takes is a sweet voice to untangle them. Talking of love, dripping like honey, feeding me sugar-coated lies, they never wanted to nurture me or build me back up. I was just a tourist destination, another one to cross off the list. I'm sick of praying to someone who isn't listening. My body was my religion. I can't even believe in myself anymore. These breaks in my foundation will get the best of me someday. My knees are weak and my arms are tired of holding other people up on the pedestal that I should be on. Yet I still don't find myself worthy enough. I've begun to believe that this temple is made of nothing more than dirt. The marble is lackluster, and the paintings are mediocre at best. A disappointing reminder of what used to be but no longer is. The day I crumble is the day the beggarly thieves disguised as false lovers win, and they are so close to victory. Yet I've been told it is wrong of me to blame them for my hurting. Like they didn't break me. Like, I'm not afraid to create scriptures now because they told me I didn't write eloquently enough. There's no beauty in my destruction. I want to be okay. But I fear I'm far past being saved. My salvation has been stolen from me, torn from my hands, given to the ones that caused me to need it in the first place. <laughs>